speaker. Hopefully this time it works. I think the mic is working now. I didn't mute myself actually. Let's go. Uh, or just be watching a replay. I did. Okay, so it's my first time, right? What I do is I set up this penalty box, and I activate the signaling deal, signing deal to uh, special summon a UA monster from my deck. I do so. Then what I do is I normal summon this guy. Alright, normal summon this guy. Return this guy to the hand and special summon this guy. Opponent's turn. Okay, activate this. Okay, trap. That's fine. Okay. So, as you spell, what I do is like activate this guy's effect, which allows me to return the. Pretty sure it was a UA. Oh, it was a Dread Nacho Dunker into my deck. In return, I can special summon a guy from my deck that is a UA monster. They summon this guy, which is a block breaker. So, what this guy does is like whenever an opponent special summons a guy into his field, I can permanently negate his effects. Oh, that song is way too loud. I can permanently negate his effects um, for the rest of the game and allows me to change the battle phase of that monster that special summoned uh, the monster, uh, the opponent's field. Okay. Okay, so this guy was normal summoned. What I do is like, what I do here is I can negate this guy's effect permanently for the rest of the game. Also, uh, completely destroys this guy uh, as an into the battle graveyard. So, how what that how did that happen is like this guy's second effect is like whenever opponent um does anything crazy like a spell monster effect trap effect uh you can dis discard one UA monster or any kind of card I can discard any kind of card from your hand into the graveyard and negate its effects completely whether that's monster spell or trap and destroy him so that's what happens here. Okay, good. My turn. I draw a UA uh, stadium. Okay. I try to battle him. So here, what I do is like I completely negate this guy's effect by changing this battle phase by uh, Victor Blockbacker. What I should have done here is like because this guy doesn't destroy it, because like what this penalty box does is like whenever a UA monster engages in a physical battle uh, in a damage step. Uh, I can all, I can once per turn uh, banish uh, the monster that's engaging in a battle with a UA monster, a single monster, uh, once per turn, banish him completely for two turns. I should have done that, but I'm dumb, so I forgot about this trap card. So I just end my turn there. I should have definitely banished this guy. This was a mistake. Uh, the battle should have been over so much sooner if I just banished this guy, so he wouldn't be able to do all this shit. But yeah, he does his XY stuff. Okay, special summon this guy, you know, blockbacker. So what it is like, he, he activated the trap, trying to negate the blockbacker's effect. What I do is like, uh, I'm just gonna activate the perfect ace to counter the lost win that he uh, activates by discarding a card from my hand. Negates the trap, like a Sean. Okay, now he's, uh, XYD summons this guy by special summoning. Great. Now the mistake he makes there here is that he doesn't know that this guy's Nega Sean for the rest of the game. I do because me smart. Let's go. Nega Sean. So the mistake another mistake he makes is that he doesn't read the fucking trap card. Okay? So this guy is not UA monster. Or well, opponent's monster. Engaged in a battle with my UA monster. With this trap card, I can manage this guy and during the bad damage phase after two turns. Watch this. Boom. My turn. I set this card and end my turn because my guys can't attack. Okay. You know, it's all this XYZ stuff, you know, someone's a bunch of guys on the board. Yup. Yup. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. This guy's special summon to XYZ summon. I'm just gonna block back or him. Nega Sean. Okay. Now watch this, guys. As soon as my turn starts, I'm gonna activate this guy's uh, effect, infinite impermanence. I can Nega Sean 
a uh, chosen monster on the field completely for the uh, for the rest of this turn. So this guy can't do anything in terms of what's your card effects. Nega Sean. Nega Sean. Stand by. I activate this card, reinforce with the army. I choose a level four or less monster from my deck. Warrior type monster, level four or war, uh, less warrior type monster, lower monster into my hand. And my plan is I'm going to activate the UA Stadium. So whenever I normal summon a UA monster, I can draw a card. You can draw a UA monster from my deck, and it also increases all my UA monster by 500 attack points once per turn. Whenever I special summon a UA monster, check this out. Activate the UA Stadium. Normal summon this guy, midfielder, allows me to draw a Dreadnought Donker from my deck. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to return this guy back to my hand uh, and switch around with the Dreadnought Donker. And by the effect of this UA Stadium, this guy's all my guy's attacks will increase by 500. Watch this. Switch a 500. So what this guy does is he does piercing uh, battle damage, which means if he attacks into a uh, defense position monster and does a battle damage. Well, in any way, if he does battle damage, well, he can also do like piercing damage to a defense monster. But anyways, that's besides the point. If he does any inflict any battle damage, he's allowed to destroy one card, any card from the board. Check this out. No. So he tries to negate this Negashan, this guy's attack, but little does he know, this guy's effect is Negashan by backlocker for the rest of the game, so, so fuck you. Okay, so, I, um, I, I do better damage, as I said before, this guy goes through defense, so he does piercing damage, he pierces him, he does hundred, uh, he does a thousand battle damage, so, this guy is dead, because this guy did damage, he can also activate the effect, to destroy this guy, this guy can't really do anything because I already, I already activated the uh, infinite impermanence to uh, Nega Shawn this guy, so this guy can't really do anything in the turn. So watch this. Boom, everything's destroyed. So what I do here is, obviously, my guy is 1700, this guy's defense is 2000, so I can't really destroy him, but because I have a penalty box, I can banish this guy for two turns. Oh yeah. So what I did here was like, because I am allowed to special summon, you know, UA guys twice in a turn, what I do is like, I bring the Donker back to my hand and switch the roll out with the perfect ace just in case if and he does anything bullshit that can really uh, inconvenience me, then I can just, you know, make a shot on anything. He did more than enough, so, you know, I'm ready, to, I was ready to sacrifice the Dreadnought Donker. Okay, so he does his usual X, Y, and Z stuff. So he special summons this guy, right? Because it's XYZ summon. Well, he didn't read the effect either that or he has no option. But check this out. Blockbacker. Whenever enemy special summons a monster into its field, I can change his uh, battle stance and make a shot its effect for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. And as soon as I activate the blockbacker's effect, the nigga Sean disguise effect for the rest of the game, I can also activate the midfielder, which allows me to target a UA uh, monster on my field and do a little switcheroo from my hand during the main phase of any of the players. So I can like switcheroo things, not even during my turn, but during his turn. So this guy is really good. I, I can switcheroo basically any time of the game. So I switch a route, the blockbacker with this guy after I activate the blockbacker's ability to negation this guy because it affects forever for the duration of the game. And I win. All right, that's it. Thanks very much. General TK out.